Hi, Lou and Glenn. Good afternoon. Yeah, arson investigators here in Long Beach tell us they are looking for this person of interest. Meanwhile, residents who live here at the Camden in apartments here in Long Beach, yes, they are on edge. They tell us they're worried that their car or something worse could happen next. It's very scary because, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to wake up and it's my car next. You know, and that's how we're all feeling right now. We don't know. It's like Russian roulette. Whose car is going to be next? The car that was on fire this morning was literally right around the corner from where my car is parked. And those were the alarms going off this morning around 6 a.m. The arsonist struck again, this time inside a tenant parking garage along Seaside and Long Beach. You can see the extensive damage to that pickup truck. Thankfully, the tenants say the sprinklers went off and Long Beach Fire responded quickly. Long Beach Fire tells us that over the past two weeks, they count at least five suspicious car fires that have occurred in parking structures. And they confirmed this morning this is the man arson investigators want to speak with. This is the man they are calling a person of interest in these vehicle fires, and they're hoping that they can locate him and figure out what he might know in connection with these suspicious fires. If people know this individual or they have seen this individual, that they reach out. And we have an arson tip line. That's area code 562-570-2582. And or if they see the individual and they don't know who he is, but they see him and they recognize him from the pictures to pick up the phone and dial 911. And that way it allows us to go make contact with the individual and ask him those questions that we're looking forward to asking him. So again, this is that person of interest in these arson fires. Investigators say if you see him, do not approach, but call 911. You can always go to the KTLA.com website or the KTLA app for another look. Residents here in the Camden Apartments tell us that they've been pushing for better security on the property. They tell us that their concerns, though, have been falling on deaf ears. We do have a call out to uh, the Camden Apartments. We hope to get a response. And, and back here live, the residents say if they cannot get help, they're planning on banding together to go before the city council to see if they could do something uh, to help secure this particular area. These are there are several apartments here, four or five hundred of them spread out along the street, and it's an open style complex. And again, some of these residents are hoping for some better security measures in the area. More throughout the afternoon. For now, Lou and Glenn, back to you in Hollywood.